everyone. The next series we are going to do is Craft It Three Ways. Stay tuned. Hi, welcome back to my channel, According to Cat. If you are new here, please introduce yourself in the comments below. If you're returning, just say hi. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I invite you to do so. Thumbs up. It lets me know you like this type of video. And what are we going to be making today? Okay, everyone. Today, you're going to be seeing me do one of my new series. If you have watched one of my recent videos, my Let's Chat video, talking about all the changes I was going to be making to my channel for the 2020 new year. One of those changes being a whole bunch of new series that I will be introducing this year. And one of those series ideas was Craft It Three Ways. So I will be taking sweater like material and using it on three different items. One of those items being this sign, my vase, and a battery operated candle. Please note that I used the word battery operated because if not, you will have a fire hazard and we don't want that. So I love the way they look. I think they are cozy and warm and all those good things. I think that's what the sweater like material brings to these. However, I am ready for spring months. I wanted to throw a wintery DIY in here, you know, because it's winter, but I am ready for spring. So if you want to learn how to make all three of these with sweater like material, make sure you stick around. So if you'd like to know what supplies I've used, please check out the description box below. And with all that being said, let's get right into the video. Okay, craft number one, sweatered vase. So the first thing I did was I took this white duct tape, wrapped it around my hand, and I got any fuzz off of this sweater I've had for a very long time. I've only worn it a few times and it does not fit me anymore. And so instead of giving it away, I decided to use it for crafting. So this is a vase from the Dollar Tree and I wanted to see where I needed to cut. Now, I love the sleeve of the sweater. I think it added exactly what I needed with that cuff and that button. And I think it gave it such interest around that vase. And I think it gives it a really great sweatery, wintry, cozy look. So I saw where I wanted to cut it. And now I'm trying to see how much I'm going to be gluing up into itself so that I get a ruffle, not ruffle, what's the word I'm looking for? Bunched up look so i didn't want to put any of that sweater underneath because i it would not give it a flat surface to sit on and it would be very wobbly so i wanted to see how much i needed to fold in on itself so that you will not see any of those frayed edges when it was on that vase so that's what i'm doing right now so be really careful when you are using that hot glue because of the holes in the sweaters it seeps right through um I was really careful when I did this and I still burnt myself. Yeah, I should be using my little, you know, my spatula, but I didn't right here because I just needed to manipulate it very quickly so that it was how I wanted it. If I felt like if I waited, it would have stuck onto itself and I was afraid of that. So I just slide on my sweater and tell me how fast and cute and ridiculous. I love this. Like you could put anything in here. I was thinking you could put in white berries or I put in branches from one of my trees outside and I loved it. Craft number two, sweatered glove sign. So these sweatered gloves were from my daughter as a baby and I've had them so I'm using them. So I got these three frames with the corrugated uh, metal and clips from the Dollar Tree. And that paper was from a packet at Joanne Fabrics and it was really inexpensive because I think I got it like 65 or 70% off for that whole book and it was awesome. So I am making each of these little squares on that decorative paper uh, three by two and I'm cutting it out. So the paper is kind of like um, grays and whites. It kind of gave me that wintry look and I'm just cutting that out and I'm going to be writing on it with a Sharpie. Okay, so I am hot gluing the three frames together. If you want it more solid, I would use E6000 or Dollar Tree's Fix All along with the hot glue, but for video purposes, I am using just hot glue in case I wanted to take this apart and use it for another project. So 
it, it, I did hang it up and it's holding up well. I don't have a problem with it. So you, if you don't have those, you'll be fine. Just make sure you use like popsicle sticks or something on the back to kind of hold it together. So now I'm writing baby, it's, and cold. So I know there's no outside, but I was okay with that. I like the phrase baby, it's cold. Um, enough just like that so I thought that was a cute idea if you would like outside you could figure out a way to do that but I liked it just like this or you could come up with another three words that you wanted to write again these are just inspirations and you don't need to do anything like I'm doing you could just let it inspire you and do something of your own so I'm writing baby it's cold I kind of use the skinny font kind of like that Ray Dunny type look um, but again you may use any font you could use stencils whatever so right there I was burning the twine I'm going to use that twine in my glove so I'm just pushing it through with a nail stick the pointy nail sticks and I am going to tie that in a knot and then I will do the same on the other um, mitten and I will tie a knot in the back of that as well make sure you glue um and i'll show you that in a second glue the shut the mitten with a couple little dots of glue i mean i didn't use a ton of glue but i didn't like how it was like hanging forward open so i just put a tiny amount i know it looked like i was putting a lot there but it literally whatever was on the tip of that glue gun i was putting that on i really wasn't squeezing it that much uh, okay, so I left those stands on the back just in case I take this apart and want to use it as a stand and it was fine. It didn't really mess up how I was hanging it at all. So it worked out great. This was my hanging device. Like I said, I'll probably be taking this apart at some point and I just used that same twine and I am gluing it in a taut fashion. Like I wanted it to be straight across so that it didn't have too much give and you wouldn't see it when it was hanging. Now I am going to make sure those are going to stay. So I used some twine ribbon that I got from, uh, well, what's the name of that place again? Burlapfabric.com. They sent me that and it's a really good holding device. So I just cut a little piece off and then I used my spatula to hold it down with all that hot glue. Okay, so here is the twine that is connected to my mittens. And I'll put some hot glue right under here. And I will place my knot in there. And that's going to be a hold, good holding piece. I like that knot because that way the mittens wouldn't fall at different levels. I wanted one a little higher than the other and it worked out perfectly. I'm just pushing it down like that and it stayed beautifully. Okay, so you know how sometimes I like to change my mind? Here we go. Okay, so this was my first ribbon, and I'm going to show you all of my options because you might like one of them that I did not use. Okay, so I got this ribbon from Joann's, and I did like it. It had little snowflakes on it, but I thought it blended too much in with the background. Okay, so this was also from Joann's. I believe. Yes. Yes. And I made a little knot on there and I thought, Oh, it's so cute. Wintery sweatery looking. And then I was like, I don't know. Let's take that off as well. And I, I was putting little dots because I knew if I took them off, there you go. All right. So now I am trying a stripe one up oh, back to one of those. Now that's white with snowflakes on it with red snowflakes up oh, some burlap. And that gave me the idea to put burlap under the words. And you'll see that in a minute. Okay, so here we go. I found one of the snowflakes from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to put on a little buffalo print ribbon, knot, a little knot. I'm into knots more than bows lately. Didn't you hear 2020 is the year of the knot? Bows are very 2019. I don't know if that's true. I might have just made that up. I did make it up. But I'm, I'm not a huge bow bow person. Like, I like them, but not like, not over the top bows. Okay, so now I'm taking this black fabric, burlap, burlap, yes. Now this burlap I got on a remnant rack over at Joann's, and it was like a dollar or something. And I got like a little bunch of it. 
and I've been using it for quite a bit of things. So I put it on the back of each of my words and it gave my words a little way to stand out and I like the way that looked. If you have a Cricut, you could use that to make your words as well. Okay, craft number three, sweatered on a battery operated candle. Again, battery operated, make sure you see that and note that. Okay, so I'm using that towel that I used in one of the other uh, craft videos where I made those trees. I love this towel. Don't forget to use things that are not necessarily like material material, but if you go to Ross or you go somewhere else where they have like Walmart, something like that, cheap towels, they have some really cool materials on towels now with great um, textures, so don't forget those. So I cut this and I'm gonna just roll it up and I will glue it on. And I let some of that candle show, which I wanted. Okay, so I'm holding it pretty taut. And there you go. So obviously the bottom's too long. I kind of wanted to see how long I wanted it. I didn't want to make it too short and then regret it. So I made it a little longer than I knew I wanted. And I'm doing the same thing by folding it up and in. Um, and I really didn't even glue it up and in. I only glued it shut so that it would stay like that. That's all I did. And I got that really like, I want to keep saying fluffy, but gathered, sweatered look. So right now I am taking a piece of string and I just put a little glue to hold it in place and I'm going to do a double wrap. Actually, I think I did a triple wrap. Yeah, there's three strings going around. Okay. And I will be tying a knot. And then I will cut off that excess. And I'm going to be taking a piece of greenery. This greenery I got from Joann's. I love Joann's when they have their really big sales, when they say like unusual discount. I love their sales because I can sometimes get the stuff cheaper than Dollar Tree because I'm getting a bigger quantity. But Again, use what you have. So I just laid that inside of there or stuck that inside of there. And I absolutely love the way this looks. It is so cute and warm and fun and wintry. I loved all three of these really. Okay, and that's what it looks like. And here we are at the end of my video. Here is the final reveal, which is my favorite part of the video. So here it is all put out together and I hope you just like the way it looks I love it so I know I would not put this above those other two things I did that for the sake of just showing you but that would be like the baby it's cold maybe in a hallway or near where the coats are something like that and the vase I love I like that sweatered sleeve is amazing like I had to use that that's actually what gave me the inspiration for the whole thing. I saw that sleeve and I thought I need that around the vase. Once I did that, I thought, you know what? I'm going to do a craft it three ways. I love the candle. I love how that turned out. I think the sign is a fun, whimsical type thing. Um, and I like the snowflakes. I, I like how that added a bit of interest, but it didn't make it like roofy. And yeah, I love all of them. But I would have to say my favorite out of all three of these, without a doubt, is that vase i love that sleeve just love it but then i'd probably say my second is that candle i don't know why i just love it like that it's all bunched up like that and gathered it's so cute so you tell me in the description box which one is your favorite i would love to know So that's it, that's the end of my video. I hope you liked everything you saw here today and I hope it inspires you to make something of your own. If you have not checked me out on Instagram over at Cat Luna Designs, please do so. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of video and subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye. So welcome back to my I can't even start my video. I can't even start this out. Okay. Okay. If you like this type of video, kite, kite.
name's not even a word. Okay. If you'd like to know what surprise, uh, uh, I invite you to do so. I am. I stop inviting you to places. That's just weird. Okay. So that's it. Oh. Please go check me out at. Please go check me over at. Check me over at. Oh my gosh! Why? What is wrong with me today? So that's it. That's the end of my video. I hope that you like that. Oh, ah, ah, ah. And I hope you liked everything you saw. Oh my gosh. So that's it. That's the end of my video. I hope that you like everything you saw here today. I cannot speak. Let's start over. Let's just start over.